Ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to be a really important one because, as you guys know, Black Ops 3 on PC has been broken for the better part of a year now because of a Steam update that essentially sort of ruined the game because it would constantly check for DLC and basically make the performance of the game really terrible. There's also an exploit with a mod menu that essentially can kick literally anyone offline on the game and possibly even download viruses to your PC. So, so yeah, BO3 is in a bad state on PC and because of that, people have been calling for Treyarch to essentially fix it. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen because unfortunately Treyarch has completely stopped supporting these games. That's just a general thing that happens with all these COD developers. They release the next game, they stop supporting their previous one and yeah it is what it is but because of this the community has basically banded together to essentially fix the old games with you know clients like x labs and sort of the h1 mod sort of clients as well so this is a client for black ops 3 that completely fixes all the issues with the game as well as makes the game just perform a lot better in general so what is this client? Well, let's actually go to the, the next scene here. This is BOY, or B-O-3-I-I-I, whatever. So essentially this is a mod like sort of H1 mod and all those sort of clients that essentially fixes the game as well as adds new features and reverse engineers literally everything to essentially fix the game itself and remove the DRM and all that stuff. So the game performs way better and it's just a overall more secure and better version of the game. So this client right here is technically not publicly released, but you can download it with some sort of, you know, tinkering. So what you have to do, I'm not going to do a full tutorial on this, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you go up here to code on the GitHub page, I'm going to link it in the description. You can basically copy the sort of like Git file. Uh, you have to like download, you know, Git CMD. So Git CMD. Okay, let's launch that. So basically what you do, you type in git clone, and then you basically just paste that in, and it will essentially, you know, download the files needed for this. I already did it, so if I click enter, it already says destination path for BO3 already exists. So I already did that. So what you want to do then is essentially go to the directory that has this stuff. So it'd be right here in BO3, it'd usually be in your like users folder, like your name or whatever, Dylan, right here. So as you can see, it gives you this. You basically click generate.bat and it generates the solution file, which you then put into Visual Studio. So you put into Visual Studio here, click build and then build solution and it should basically build the exe. At some point in the near future, this will not be necessary whatsoever and you're able to just download it right off the GitHub or, or the website here, bo3.re, as you guys can see, there will be a download option for you to download the client, but unfortunately it's not out yet, but it's in the testing phase, so it should be out pretty soon. So anyways, I definitely recommend you guys uh, support this creator, Momo5502. He's on Twitter, he's also on here. Um, I definitely recommend you support him in any ways possible, Patreon, or, you know, just sponsoring the project. This guy is putting in the work to essentially create the ultimate Black Ops 3 experience. So I honestly think you guys should support him. So anyways, let's actually jump into the client. So this is the newest build. Apparently this build actually works on the Steam Deck as well. I've been waiting for that. I'm gonna be talking about BO3 on the Steam Deck, especially with this client, because it's gonna be way better. So anyway, let's check this out. You have play, you also have about, that brings up the website. Um, so let's just click play. As you can see, you have the splash screen for Black Ops 3. Uh, essentially kind of like, you know, you having just the game, you know, off of Steam and stuff like that. It's kind of like that, but it's a little different. Got the Black Ops 3 console right here, and the game is launching. Okay, there you go. As you guys can see, up there you have the client version. This is a beta build or alpha build. So, so as you guys can see right here, just sitting in the freaking menu, 200 FPS. Let's actually just do a com underscore max... FPS and then set it to zero. There we go, getting over 300 FPS. That is insane, bro. And you'll also notice if you actually have an SSD with this game that the loading times and like the smoothness of the UI just in general is so much better. Like it's insane. So let's actually jump into like Call of the Dead Remastered just to see how our frame rate is. 
because man, the improvement is just so much better. Anyway, so I expect the performance improvement to be absolutely massive, but just keep in mind that I don't have, you know, the regular BO3 sort of loaded up right now, so I'm just gonna, you know, put some gameplay over the top. I think, you know, on average, when I play, I get, like, between, like, 90 to, like, 120, if that, and, uh, yeah, that's because constantly in the background, like I said, the game is checking for DLC, and it's just performing awful, so this is gonna be pretty crazy, the huge sort of performance improvements that you actually get, so... As you guys can see... Get up to... Depending on the area of the map, you get more FPS. I mean, it's obvious. You know, these maps aren't completely optimized just in general um, because, you know, obviously the sort of custom map creators do not have access to all the tools, you know, Treyarch does to completely, you know, optimize their maps. But as you guys can see, we're getting like 170, depending on certain locations we look at. Like, if you look in the sky, you can get up to like 200. And you'll actually get even more FPS if you have a better computer than mine. I have a 3900X and a 3080, so, you know, I don't have the highest end computer nowadays, you know, compared to like, you know, the RTX 4000, you know, the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs and stuff. Like this is, it's relatively high end, but it's not super high end. But yeah, as you guys can see, forms great. And right out of the box, you can disconnect. So dev console is pretty awesome as well. Anyway, let's jump into like a map that is relatively sort of intensive in the base game. And let's do like Revelations, because I think the performance on Revelations is improved as well. Okay, let's recap a bit, shall we? We should, Dr. Mono. We should. Okay, so now we're in the game. And I should also keep in mind that I'm also recording with OBS, so that makes a lot of sense as well. Uh, but yeah, you're getting some pretty high frames here. Like, this is performing fantastic. It feels just, just in general, like, just all the jank that was in the older versions are just, it's just so much better now. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is BO3, or boy. So, let's actually, I want to show you one more thing before I end the video. You also have a server browser, which is pretty awesome. You know, there was already one in the game, but there's going to be multiple servers. You're probably going to be able to rank up in the servers, and just in general... Well, for Pete's sake. That was not a crash, okay? That's because I j tried to join a server and I didn't have the thing installed. I need to install the stuff. Stupid. It's 400 FPS, bro. That is freaking nuts. Alright, let's 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 try to not join the server this time. Alright, as you guys can see, there are servers. And there's some tests as well. Pretty sure you might be able to join them, but I'm not too sure. We got some zombie servers. That's cool. That's this client, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be an absolute game changer, especially when he implements all the sort of, you know, patches that fix all the crashing issues. I'm pretty sure this already kind of fixes a lot of it because it disconnects it from Steam. But yeah, this game is going to be so much better now. The performance is better. Just everything in general is just better. So if you guys are excited for this client, make sure to drop a like on this video. And I'm going to be talking about some other clients pretty soon because if... The developers don't really want to fix their games, and if they don't really want to make games for us anymore, the community has to basically pick up their slack. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, and you want to see some other videos on the channel, make sure to drop a like on this video. I'd really appreciate that. You're going to focus? Bro, why is my Sony not focusing on my hand? There we go. Make sure to drop a like. What the heck, dude? So, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful day.